we're gonna take a look today at this, the Epoch, Epoch TV Vader console. I'm making, I was making sure if I was gonna pronounce Epoch or Epoch correctly or not. So I'm pronouncing it either way, or it's probably mispronounced anyway. But uh, this is a Vader, well, it's a Space Invaders clone console. And this was released in 1980 by Epoch. And they actually did a, later on, they did a cartridge version of this on their uh, e uh, cassette vision. And also, yeah, actually just a cassette vision right now. So anyway, yeah, just wanted to show this really quick more detail. Uh, this is channel one, channel two. And again, this is equivalent to 95 and 96 on American and Canadian TV sets. And here's right here, copyright 1980, uh, made in Japan. And really simple here. There's a lot of, you know, this is already a 43 year old uh, console here. And there's a lot of burn. And I think it's just due to the plastic was burning because it was either the way it was stored or the power cord. But last I played this, it was working fine in uh, 2021. And yeah, here's the back and forth, start, missile, level, and it power on and off. And of course it has some wear. Yeah, I just wanted to, sh it's really it. And then in the back is uh, just the power. <clears throat> it's in a, it's a power brick. How the power brick looks like it's kind of another unusual like if you wanted to see the prong it should be here but yeah it's uh six volts and then the <clears throat> the rf switch is included well the rf uh cable is uh <clears throat> it's attached to the console so we can't remove it but yeah, let's take a look some quick of some really quick gameplay of this thing. And I like the uh I like the the weights you know with the in the Space Invader figures and the planet and then yeah, it's pretty still pretty good. Anyway, let's just hook this up and take it from there and see. All right, so it's on channel 95 and there we go. So this is the demo mode of the TV Vader. And let's press start. Here's how the demo looks like. All right, so now we're moving. I think, yeah, there we go. And this is how it is. Pretty basic, but very violent when you get hit. Oh, geez. Ooh, one hand. So it's like Space Invaders. I mean, like, definitely a clone of it. Although there's more figures in a real Space Invaders. This only has one row. more Ooh. but there's different levels this is level two three four one two three four it's only four levels but if you noticed <clears throat> one has seven lives two has seven lives three has five lives four has three lives so and yeah let's get started Level one. I mean, back in like nine, in back in 1980, this was pretty cool. Now it's just, of course, for nostalgia, but still, a whole piece of you know, this was a standalone game. Oh, well, later on. Was included with the cassette vision. Let me see if I can hit the 
the flying saucer. Notice when you hit them, it goes, they go back. They don't like just get destroyed right away. Let's see if they can hit this. Oh, ah, it's too far away. <clears throat> but yeah, if you, these, these are found again in Yahoo Auctions Japan, or if you see this on eBay, you should pick it up. I think it's a great piece of gaming history. But if you don't like these graphics, which... there we go. I got one. It's still cool though. Because I'm a good, I'm a big fan of Space Invaders, so I like this. Oh, jeez. Now it's getting quicker. So I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> Got my high score of uh, there at 10.95. Anyway, yeah, it's still a good system to play. Again, it's RF, and you just gotta be careful though. It's uh, Japanese signals, so you gotta do channel 95, 96 here <clears throat> in the West. Anyway, thanks again for watching this overview of the Epoch TV Vader console. Woohoo!